Oh. Thank <laughs> So I'm very I'm very happy to be here. For me, it was a really nice year uh, because I always said uh, my three passions are teaching, are uh, making animation short, and design animation tools, and all related with Blender. And this year, with all development of Bridge Pencil, uh, my animation shorts, and the teaching, I'm very happy to be in the Blender community. It's, it's really really nice to me make this decision uh, 10 years ago. So thank you for the community. Okay. So uh, let's talk about, uh, about the Grease Pencil and Easy Rigging development, the future development. What is the, the point? So uh, first of all, I want to show you a, a, a little video, a little video with some uh, so, wrist pencil works. After a year of uh, development with the new Wheels Pencil 2.0, uh, uh, right now we can make 2D animation in Blender, but uh, there is some kind of limbo uh, right now uh, with Wheels Pencil. Let me show you. One of these uh, limbos is now Wheels Pencil. When a 2D artist see the Wheels Pencil staff say, hey, it's incredible. This has a lot of potential. It's great. Make 2D animation in a street environment, in environment with cameras and all this stuff. So, but when open a 3D program or Blender, it's something like, oh, uh, yes, something like that. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> so. <clears throat> the, first, the first thing is that. Where is a 2D artist, right? Uh, where is my brushes and the canvas or even the colors? Where is, is what the hell is going on? <laughs> so, and on the other side, uh, a 3D artist, when see the wrist pencil stuff, uh, say, uh, oh, it's incredible. I can make 2D animation in my own software, but I don't know how to draw. <laughs> so, uh, oh, it's cool. It's nice, but uh, it's great to uh, have uh, this feature, like uh, mo uh, motion tracking. It's nice, but I don't use it. Uh, uh, that is the point, so right now. Because uh, how many 2D animators are here in the, in the okay, one, two, three, four, five? So that is the point. The, new users of Grease Pencil are not inside the Blender community. Are outside are 2D animators. So we need, um, we need create a, a better em environment, okay, a better interface to feel comfortable to, to the artists. Because if 2D artists con don't come to Blender Grease Pencil, the, the Grease Pencil was uh, really Accident are really happy future. It's, it's nice to work, make some storyboarding or make some effects in in in, in Grease Pencil, but not a real production work. So, in my in my opinion, uh, we need uh, keep improving the 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 bruises and tools, exploring exploring the new possibilities of Open uh, GL with three point five uh, three. Point three. So we have a lot of potential and normal possibilities to make 
and new, new brushes with uh, gradients, uh, um, uh, nice effects, uh, water, water colors, inks, and I think is we have a lot of potential here. And the other side, uh, for me, is most important is simplify the, U the UE for 2D artists. So creating a specific 2D layout. And in this point, the the two two eight uh, two eight the two eight uh, two point eight uh, workflow release. Uh, uh, I think will will be fine to to create different workflows. Even if you're working with camera tracking, three animation, or even two D animation. I think it's it's so important for me in my in my opinion that uh, that two D artists come to Blender and feel more comfortable to uh, simplify away with all the things that they need. It's open, uh, load the, the specific layout, and oh, this is my brushes, colors, and all these things. So this is the first limbo, OK? This is the first limbo. And the second, there is a second limbo. This right now, Bridge Pencil is not a real object. It's a strain. You know, you have a edit mode, edit stroke mode to change the thing, but you can choose. It's not a real object. You can select and copy and paste and all the thing is is living a kind of limbo. So, in the now, in the in the future, in the in the uh, in the next months, we are working to convert a grease pencil uh, in a real object, because if grease pencil is a real object, you can have you can access at a lot of things of Blender, like uh, modifiers, for example. You can apply modifiers to an object with pencil and uh, create a noise effect or a modifier to convert the grease pencil to a mesh and connect with freestyle. There is a huge uh, possibility there. Okay, connect grease pencil with freestyle. And even skinning or warping into a surface, or a lot of things, a lot of things. But there is a, 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 a important thing to me to keep in mind. To keep in mind, try to reach this kind of uh, possibilities and potential. You you may uh, may lost the 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 spontaneous today workflow. Because uh, in, in 2D animation, there is, the workflow is something like that. Just draw it, OK? <laughs> Just draw it. It's not as uh, you paint, uh, uh, you draw another frame, paint another thing, go back, change something, uh, back and forth, back and forth, another. It's not. See if I create new stroke, a uh, new key, and now I'm painting and, and blah, 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 all these things. The 2D workflow is so spontaneous, it's so direct. This is the power. This is the power. The, it's, it's not, you can complicate the things. Of course, uh, inside, uh, when you, uh, the, 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 uh, in fact, the only thing that we need is a quick access to create these uh, kind of things. Not try to get safe A, blah, 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 all these things. It's just did it. Press one key and draw it. Okay. Another another thing about uh, with pencil. Uh, side note. Uh, here, it's just uh, an idea. Just an idea. Is is a side note. Uh, because uh, why not risk pencil for 2D games? A friend of mine that has an animation company in, 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 in Spain that work in, all in Blender and make a, a lot of casual games for, for mobiles, and say me, oh, it's, it, will be, it's really, really, uh, will be really great that I can make all my uh, drawings uh, art in risk pencil I export directly to Unity or something like that. It's not my area of expertise. I, I don't want to work in this area. But just it's an idea. Just it's an idea. Because, for example, uh -huh. 
Oh, I don't have internet. Here. I see this example uh, two weeks ago, or something like that. Let me check it. So this is a uh, grease pencil running, uh, running in real time in a web browser. So it's so interesting. Maybe it can this a connection to grease pencil to to create uh, do, uh, to the games, like with bones and rigging and sport, all the things. Just as an idea. Just as an idea. So okay, for me this is the current situation. So right now uh, we are working, uh, we are working to improve all these problems in, in the in the few months to try uh, to try uh, to try make to the artists come to uh, to to Blender to make to the full animation. That is the point. Okay. This is about uh, grease pencil. Now I want to talk about the easy rigging. The easy rigging. Let me no, nothing more. <laughs> For easy rigging, uh, with the the easy rigging for me, I have the three different steps. One of them is the body rigs. Okay, the body rig. The another step is the facial rig that I won't talk today. The, the facial rig, and the other step is uh, a skinning, a skinning tool, improve to skinning tools. All the all thing about uh, easy rigging is not thinking about professional rigger. It's thinking the point is thinking in two D uh, in three D animators can make his own rigs, so it, for his own animation, it's not about create a rig for a production or a movie. This, you need a professional rigger there. But it's, for me, it's, it's, it's a tragedy, a, a, a creative tragedy, that uh, two, uh, 3D animators can make his own stuff, a king, a can make animator. So this is the point. Right now, with the current tools, I'm very happy with the current tool, because this is two characters of alike. This is the original one. It's an extra for a like, and this is the, uh, the 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 old rig, right? So for this rig, I need all these controls, okay, to create double chains and blah blah blah, 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 blah all these things. And right now, I have practically practically the same the same uh, uh, the same features. Like scale, bone, bendy bones, all this thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I have s practically the same features, only what the bones that you see. That I don't have here any. Oh. I don't have here. Any any extra bones in, in, in another layer, so I, yeah I have the same future. The only part that I don't resolve is the the pivot of the of the pivot of the foot. I'm thinking on new ideas, but right now I can make the rigs of uh, a like shirt with this kind of features. If I don't need another extra bones and complicated things. So what about the facial rig? What about is is more complicated make facial rigs, so I'm working on that. I I, I don't have uh, all the solutions, but here I have I have an animation. Let me show you. Is is uh, the animation is, uh, is fast, is quiet, but I have here. Let me show you the render. Okay. And is to try to make all these uh, all these winkles uh, without a lot of rig. And what is the what is the thing? Is are two two sides and in this easy rigging, facial easy rigging. One of them is uh, bendy bones, create bendy bones uh, for for facial rig. And the other hand is uh, all, uh, so basic in a school things, a school in animation. To create this thing, let me show you some 
For example, here to create this, this rig, I make, let me, is uh, something like I create uh, the bendy bones here, Whoop. and create some curves to adapt to surface. Okay, and duplicate for the eyebrows and Okay, and so on and so on in, in different parts. I have a, 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 I have a script that Antonio Vazquez, the, one of the developers of, of uh, Chris Pencil, uh, made for me, is to create a custom controls in post mode to control this. If you want to do how to do this, if you're not uh, manually, it's so simple. You have a great, um, a great tutorial by Nimble Collective to create this kind of, of, of rigging. Okay, this is a bone with two controls, right? It's, it's easy stuff, it's easy stuff. Uh, I have a script to accelerate this thing. So, after that, and in so skin, Okay, I have all these controls, and right now I, I apply to uh, the skin. So take a while, because it's a dense mesh, automatic weights, take a, a little time, because for do the school thing, I need a quite dense mesh to, to, to do the things. So, glass of water. Is working? No, oh, no, yeah, I believe. Yes. <laughs> so after that, I have with in this case, I don't have touch any skin things. It's only with automatic weight. The 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 thing is, put the the bones in the right uh, in the right area. Okay, try try what is the the best position for the bones, right? So hi, I hear this thing, and I've loved the, the animation, okay, oh, this, just that, put all, all the bones in the face, uh, uh, create the skin, and animate it. So what about the, the winkless, all this stuff? Basically, it's made uh, by, by hand, like in 2D. It's work directly in the mesh to create this thing. So, yes, I have, yes, okay, and a sculpt. For example, okay, to create, to, whoa, so heavy to create the wrinkles, right? And animate this parameter. In the, in the, in the final animation, basically, basically, let me check, add cap, okay? You can see all these animations. No, it's here, this is the layers. The, bl the blend shapes, the shape keys, okay, to create this kind of wrinkles as manually animated by, by animation, by the, the animator. Of course, this is more work for animator, but this work means more control. And think about it, an independent artist in his house making this thing about for his own demo reel, not done need a extra rig or commercial rig or the same rigs that everybody has, okay, to try to make his own stuff. Of course, if you work for here for this, for a, for a movie, you need a proper rig, okay? But this is the point, okay? And the last one, the last thing is, there is a, a, couple, a couple of problems uh, right now 
with, uh, with Vendy Bones is when you're working with, uh, with a dense mess, the, uh, the Vendy Bones don't deform, <laughs> uh, don't deform smoothly. <laughs> Maybe increase the segment to the infinity to infinity. Okay, will be nice. But right now we have we have this problem with corrective smooth it solve uh, the the most of the things. But right now is the problem. So, but the I'm not happy. It's, I think it's a nice approach to to make independent animation, make facial animation. But we think we have we can. Uh, we can uh, uh, simplify the things more, right? This is a new concept that I <laughs> throw <laughs> here. It's a uh, two pivot bone, right? Right now, I need all these two controls to control one bone. And it's OK, it's nice, but uh, I, don't, I don't want to need, to need it. Okay, I want it's more simple for a for a independent for, for a for a three animator if uh, if we can uh, a two pivot point something is the same thing that that really happened right now when edit mode if you can if I can move and animate this uh, this thing I don't need the other the other two if I want to create because it's more easy or whatever but. I think this is uh, this will uh, option like uh, uh, here, oh. like an option two pivot bone, right? And you have two kind of pivots to control this bone. Oh, I know that is more easy to say than to implement, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I know that because it's two 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 to position, to rotation, to the scale, all things. But I think is this this thing simplify simplify a lot the things because, uh, for example, I don't need all these controls. To it's more easy to set up the okay uh, one here, one blah, blah, blah. I don't need working with three bones to control one bone, right? And that's it. The point. Uh, the the last thing I w just. Um, Uh, the last uh, thing is I want to say to say thanks. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> uh, I'm. <laughs> In my defense, I, I'm I'm dyslexic. I'm dyslexic. I'm dyslexic. So no, I say to thanks to developers, to especially to Antonio Vasquez and Ali Goriz and even uh, Camel Camel Barton, to make this thing possible. For me, it's a dream to work with developers, artists, and developers to create an artistic tool for for the artist. Okay, so thank you. <laughs>